Welcome back to Team Fast Eddie and HPIBajaTutorials.com. Today we're going to work on page number 52, which is building the front shocks for your HPI Baja SS. And to do this, we're going to go ahead and start off with bag L. And I believe that uh, everything that we're going to need is in this bag. May or may not be, but uh, we'll deal with that as we go along. We're going to go ahead and open this up and there are several bags that are included. You have your spring retainers, you have your inside shock parts, you have uh, some nuts, bolts and screws and some more shock parts and you have some more shock parts and another bag with springs and boots and stuff and another one with some gaskets and some oil. I'm going to go ahead at this point and open up all the bags. We're going to trim off all of our parts and I'm going to lay everything out in series of twos. Alright, we've got all of our bags opened up and have our parts laid out for the first portion that we're going to build and that's in step number 100. The What we're building here are the bottom shock caps where that contain the seals that seal off the shaft and hold the fluid in. I want you to go ahead and lay your parts out in this specific order so that you can follow along. There are two sets of clips and these are a little wire clip. There's two sets of them. One set is larger than the other. We're going to take the smallest one and lay it down first. From there we're going to get your small copper bushing. There's one that's thin and then one that's much thicker. Go ahead and get the thin one. Lay it down next. Then there are two clear silicon O-rings. Go ahead and lay down two of those. Then the metal cap. And then from there we're going to lay down the larger clip, the larger brass insert, and then your orange colored gasket. Go ahead and lay them out two lines. We're going to do both of them at the same time or it's up to you you can do one shock at a time I like to do them both at the same time because we're we're uh, you know gonna use tools at certain areas and it's a lot easier just to do them both at one time you're also going to want to grab your shock oil and go ahead and open that up the first step that we're going to do is to place the orange o-ring into this groove right here on the metal cap. Uh, we're going to want to go ahead and use some shock oil and moisten everything up. You don't need a whole bunch but you do want to go ahead and lubricate it and roll it down over the top and make sure that it's on real nice. Go ahead and do that while I answer my phone and repeat the process on the second side. Okay, getting busy at the shop here. I um, still have some lube on my fingers and I'm going to go ahead and do the second one. And again that slides down right over here. Double check and make sure that it's not twisted or make sure that it didn't get cut on any of the, the threads and if it did you'll want to replace it and or straighten it out and it should have an amount of lubrication on it. Next step, we're going to take our tallest bushing and we're going to insert it into the top of the metal cap. Just like so. And you're going to see that there's a little groove. It should fall down in there far enough that there's a little groove around the edge here. And we're going to take the larger of the two clips and we're going to go ahead and insert it into that groove and they can be a little bit tricky. What I like to do is to try to uh, get one portion of it actually down into the groove 
and hold on to it with one thumb and then work it around with my other thumb until it pops in just like so. Let's see if we can get a close up here. At this point we're going to go ahead and turn it over and we're going to lubricate up our fingers again. You can use shock oil, you can use a little bit of grease, you can use a product put out by, I think it's associated, called Green Slime, which works really well. And we're going to go ahead and lubricate the two silicone gaskets. We're going to go ahead and drop those down inside the case. And you can use your pinky or a little... Uh, blunt object. You don't want to use a sharp object, but you can use a blunt object to go ahead and seat those gently down in so that they ride all the way directly down inside. I don't know if you can see that very well in the camera. From there, we're going to go ahead and take the smaller brass bushing and insert that down inside and it should make contact with the with the silicone gaskets and again there's a little ridge to the inside and we're going to take the smaller of the two clips and go ahead and work that in. Sometimes uh, they go right in, sometimes they don't and you need a little bit of help. Um, on this one I'm going to set this down and I'm actually going to use the blunt end of my, my uh, nut driver or my uh, wrench, I should say, and go ahead and push that down in and make sure that it's properly seated all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process on the second side. I'm going to take the unit and put it in. I'm going to snap in the clip. I'm going to lubricate up the two gaskets, slide them inside the hole, make sure they're properly seated, put in my second bushing on the bottom, and then go ahead and insert the smaller clip to hold it in. Okay, that portion of the shocks are now built. We're going to go ahead and set those aside, just like so. In our next step here, we're going to go ahead and build our shock shaft assemblies that we will then slide into the tubes at a, at a later time. Let's go ahead and set our parts out. We've got one for each side, a nut. We have a metal, small metal washer. Actually we have two of them per side. Then we have a plastic wiper which actually has a little cut in there. We'll go over this in just a minute. We have two pistons and the directions for this are calling for the two hole pistons and your choice of this and fluids is a whole other tutorial that we'll go into at a later time but you can see this one has two holes as compared to another set which they give you that have three holes so you can get the light in there just right to show you the holes there we go so we're gonna use the directions and use the two hole setup so we're gonna set those aside then there are two small aluminum bushings. Then we have a ball. We have a shock shaft and a rubber boot. So go ahead and get all that out and we're gonna go ahead and get started on this portion of the build.